Okay, boys, we are back out of the gym. It's thanks fucking giving. Thank you for being you. We're starting up the car. It started. I'm bringing a uh, cashier's check, actually, a deposit to my real estate agent, Vince. Some of you have seen him on the last uh, one of the last videos. We're, we, we've made an offer and we're closing in like five days on uh, on on a one of the penthouses. One of the penthouses. It's actually Muhammad Ali's penthouse. Fact check me on this later. I'm We'll verify that for you in the future. We're gonna we're gonna get into all this quirky shit in like 20 minutes. Give me a second. I gotta take this to him, and then we gotta bounce. I gotta put my seatbelt on. I got things to do, and uh, yeah, we're gonna go through this potentially while I'm driving because we haven't had a driving video in a while. Mainly just a walk around. Some of this stuff I do need to walk around the vehicle, but it's no worry, my friends. We can take care of it. Oh my god, oh, it's cold man. Let's make sure all three pedals are there. Yep, one, two, yeah, we got them. We got them, we got the key. Oh, look at that carbon fiber. Look at that carbon fiber, oh yeah. Put that in there. Ice coffee, whoa, whoa. Magic is about to happen. Magic. Christmas tree magic. It's not Christmas, it's Thanksgiving. Let's get this going. Check your oil level. Mine's actually super high. It's because I'm kind of on a slant. Let's go! Yeah, baby. Just so you're aware, because I'm, I'm, I'm well aware that people are probably going to be commenting about the Christmas tree that you just saw. I daily drive my cars. I have an OBD, a diagnostic tool I plug right in and I can clear all that stuff. Uh, there's just small things. I mean, you shouldn't just clear things if you have one of those. I'm not encouraging that or endorsing that. You should get problems fixed. This car doesn't have any problems. It's just small stuff due to the wheels coming off and the exhaust and blah, 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 blah. Side note, the exhaust I don't actually think is causing the uh, check engine light for the O2 spacers. I think one is just loose and I might have to tighten it. We're gonna let this little shish kebab warm up. If you are unfamiliar to the channel, my name's Matt and this is a 2008 six speed manual Porsche Cayman S 987.1. About to go to the gym. So when I get back from the gym, I'm gonna explain to you some, uh, well, maybe embarrassing quirks and, and features about the car. Some I've touched on in recent videos. There's a whole playlist. I'm probably throwing this in too. If, if you catch it from the playlist, comment down below. Let me know. I'm curious if those playlists work out really well. Yeah, just some weird features about the car. If you're a prospecting Porsche owner or just looking into it or, or you do own one and you don't know this stuff or you just bought one or wherever you are on the spectrum of ownership, if you're considering it, this is good stuff to know. Yeah. First off, one great thing to know is that this car is badass. It's not really a fact, but it is a fact because it is in fact badass. Just listen to it. It sounds fucking amazing with this exhaust. It's nearly straight piped, virtually straight piped, pretty pretty much straight piped, but it does have a muffler on it even though it's kind of a straight through. It's 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 a competition packet from Silverborn's product. The link down below if you decide to go with them. Use Supercars in Philadelphia as a coupon code. Get a little discount, Shiboha. I like to get that quick exhaust note, no pun intended, right out of the way, just because it, it is a it is a good point. Uh, it does change this car significantly. You guys having a good Thanksgiving? This is being filmed Thanksgiving morning. I have some family stuff to take care of. Good things, not bad things. And uh, yeah, yeah, Porsche stuff, Porsche stuff. Let's get into it. Just dropped off that check. Some quick things I can discuss before we park up the car and do a little walk around for the outside because there are exterior things I want to show you. Back from an earlier clip in this video, you saw that oil level check. Uh, that is because the car does not, and I repeat, does not, have a dipstick. The 986 has a dipstick and an oil check, which I think is optimal to have both because, um, you know, it's 2019. We should trust technology by now, but 
We don't. Maybe that's me just getting old, but I, I don't entirely fully trust technology. It makes mistakes just like humans do, just a little bit less. But when it breaks, it breaks. Also, while we're parked, and no, we're not driving, we're parked right now, like at a light. Uh, I mean, we will start moving like right now, so it's kind of pointless when we tell you that. But uh, TP, comment down below what you think that means, but I'll tell you what that means. We only got a little F type action right there. Yeah! Upshift so you can hear me. TP means traffic pattern. Traffic pattern. There's an issue with that. You start to create a bunch of issues with the car, uh, with the infotainment system, the radio. Should you decide to start messing with that, just don't touch it, ignore it, act like it's not there because it can cause issues. The purpose of it was for the European spec cars, uh, and actually maybe even in the US, I don't really think so though, but in specific areas, in random cities it may cause station changes and interferences and things like that, so just just don't use it if you're in the US, in, in, the, in Europe. It, it actually isn't, I, th I think it is useful in Europe. I don't know, I'm not European. My European lads and lasses, please let me know. We got a little Hummer up there too. Check that out. Is that gonna, ooh, look at that. Zoom in, zoom in. I can't zoom in anymore, but look at that. Look at that. There, got the F-type right there. It's a good day. It's a good day to be alive. It's Thanksgiving, baby. It is Thanksgiving. And by Thanksgiving, I mean Thanksgiving. I'm just kind of employing that, that weird redneck accent. Not a redneck, I promise. I might be. I might be a redneck. Probably, I'm probably a redneck. This nifty little button was a source of so many complaints regarding the PCM2 and problems, you know, just in general until discovered what it caused. In, in random cities, it may cause radio station changes and odd interruptions unless turned off. The consensus, if you're in the US, keep it off. If you can fact check against me on this, good for you. Please share it, I'd love to learn. I just am pretty positive from my research. But if you stop learning, you start dying. To work my way down here, you have all your temp and, and features. You have a, a max AC button, which blasts you with AC, which is pretty cool. I've always been a believer in uh, you know, gradual transitions and slightly increasing the temperature, not blasting it, even though I started out my life of driving as blasting shit and hitting the max AC. See what that does? Did you see? It's it's so aggressive. It doesn't need to be that way. It can it can, you know, be be minimal, but you increase and lower the temp like that, the fan drops like this. See what I'm doing with my hand? It's natural for me now. But you wanna like lobster claw this shit. You wanna stick your hand in. If you start trying to freelance it and stab and penetrate this like it's a human male's member of reproduction, you're going to uh, cause this shit to wear. And as you can see, I have a perfectly unworn display right here. It's a beautiful waterfall of electronic buttons and things that, it's pretty simple. I don't put anything in here. That way it does have a nice little rubberized thing going on, which is good so it doesn't get messed up. But I just stick my hand in there and I control everything. Even even this stuff, you know, even the volume and all that stuff through there with my thumb. This is the part where some people, keyboard warriors, want to comment and say all nasty stuff to me about I'm an idiot and that's stupid, but you don't know until you own it and then you're like, wow, Matt, that was a really good tip. Thank you. So all my Porsche owners out there, my Cayman 987 or Boxster, it's the same thing for, for that interface. Uh, let me know. Let me know if you don't do that and change it. Just try it out for a week. I bet you it becomes a habit. I bet you like it more. Just throwing that out there. Next subject or topic, whatever, next point, bullet. Yeah, this, ex expect it to break. It looks like somebody fucking broke it before I had it. I just gotta replace it. I actually have a working one in my other 987, so I'm probably just gonna swap them out. But this is a cup holder. Check that out, fucking Germans. Oh my God. It really is cool. And you don't even have to close it. It won't break if you do that. It closes itself. It's got its own safety within the safety. It's just beautiful. You also have central locking in here too. And uh, that'll lead us to the next point, which will bring us out of the car because we're gonna look at the key. But yeah, central locking, just like a BMW. Watch out, I've seen that break. Not on my car, on other people's cars. Just be gentle as shit, dude. Just be gentle, don't be rough. This is a Porsche. It can handle the abuse, but it doesn't mean it needs the abuse. And honestly, it can't handle the abuse after a certain point, like anything. If you're rough on stuff, 
you're gonna destroy it. So do not destroy it, mate. Do not do that. So you have all that stuff and whatnot. You also have this eject button for the CD player here. You don't have a way to hook your phone up unless you have like a Bluetooth FN transmitter. Uh, link in the description down below for that. Works really well from Roab. The other button you have to worry about is the like button. Just smash that like button down there. Don't even smash it, just click it. Tap it with your finger. However you need to make it blue, there's a thumbs up. It's a like button. Do it. I'm about to be late for these Thanksgiving festivities with my family because you all are part of my family too. So we, uh, and I gotta give you some love on Thanksgiving. Back home, we're gonna walk around the car real quick. Real, real quick. So fun fact, we need to stop that. If you have the lights on, it, it makes that noise. That's uh, you know, just something to know. The, the keys, you can't just tap buttons. You have to hold buttons. If you tap buttons, they don't work. Everything on this little key needs to be held. Held in. There's no, nothing on the back. This is how you pop the front. That's how you pop the back. That's how you pop the front. Did you hear that ting? Yeah. And that's how you pop the back. Yep. And you get two of these. This is the master key. There's a, a gray one that is the backup key. Also, my, my people, you uh, need to know this. I made a video on this before. I made a video on some of this stuff before, like specifically. I'm just kind of overviewing all this. As you can see, I did the full review, cost review, and ownership review of the car. But now we're doing this stuff. Is there anybody? I thought I heard someone's voice. Guarding the front, the front trunk. If you kill your battery, which I just did this the other day. I think I, I left something on. Like I, I left the key in the ignition. Uh, it's locked, it was locked in my garage. It wasn't parked on the HQ where we have those uh, canvas canopies, but they work really well when they're sealed. They are sealed. Long story short, the battery died and you cannot get to the battery because the trunk function is electronic. There's that and then there's, you know, this stuff right here to pop it open. You probably heard that. That's electronic. Yeah, that sucks. So, Forgive me, it's dirty, we need to do some spring cleaning, but there's a little, yeah, fuse box right there. And then you get these chopsticks. I love you Germans. And then you pull this out. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. All right, I can't get it out any further, but it's, it's taut in there. I just don't use it a lot, obviously, thankfully. You hook up your positive to that, and then your ground right here onto the door, door latch right there. See what I'm saying? You do that and then you'll hear a ting. Just like when we pop that open, I'm, I'm putting this back in there because I, I don't need it, obviously. And that's that, which is uh, cool. Yeah, very cool. Very, very cool. Just not efficient because it's extra steps that you don't really need to worry about. Two things you need to worry about right here. There's a hidden compartment here on each side. I put my fuel receipts in there because I'm a savage. And also when you're getting in the car, just so you don't have to put your hand and your, your oily mitts on anything, Look at that, wow. You have a little pull handle. I don't really fit in the car, like I do. I actually fit perfectly, I just can't move. Isn't that perfect? Isn't that perfect? You also have these other hidden compartments too, like this. That's a deep one. That's deep, baby. I can fit a lot of stuff in there. I've showed you guys this before. And then you have the trunk space back there. The engine cover is right here. Another weird tip, you see that? That's a stain, that's not a shadow. It literally discolors this carpet. Get a glass engine bay. We're gonna do that soon, but get a glass one. Or if you don't have that discoloring right there, that discoloration, take this off. Mine's already done, so I'm just, I'm just leaving. I'm not even touching it. It is what it is at that point. As we navigate outside of the vehicle, the door handles go up, not out. They go up. So just remember that. Don't break shit. I've seen people break shit. It sucks. You also have these two little bumper blocks right here. I forget the actual term, but that's so if you get rear-ended, that gets cracked, not the actual car. God, this is dirty. Remember what I was talking about no dipstick? No dipstick. This is the way you fill up the oil. That's how you fill up the antifreeze, coolant, whatnot. Yeah, that's it. That's what you got. I hope you like that. Supercars of Philadelphia. Subscribe. Who wants that sticker? I'll literally, you can pay shipping, I'll send it to you. Ever wonder where the fuel cap is? It's on the front passenger side. You press it in like this. It does lock, has a locking mechanism, but this is how it opens. And you also have turn to lock and then which is, uh, I'd probably hack that up, but I'm not German. I think I might be kind of German. Um, yeah, plastic, it hangs there. Fun tip. So it doesn't scratch anything. If it's windy, just watch out. Real dirty. If you ever replace the windshield like I did, the cowling can lift up. It's just something to know. Uh, you want to get a good seal on the cowling. That way you don't have any weird turbulence coming in from the car. To lift this up, it's just a, like an inch lift and you realize there's a lock right here. 
to the left of the badge and that lifts up. We have a unicorn costume. Don't don't ask me questions you don't need to know the answer to. Battery is in there, and then you also have all these other hidden compartments. I keep my OBD and some extra oil in there because I'm an asshole. And uh, yeah, brake fluid. Good stuff, right? Good stuff. I gotta go. Okay, guys, windshield wiper fluid's up there. It's pretty sick. Yeah, there's also an emergency out. Uh, you can fit like a full-sized 20-year-old in here. Um, human trafficking is bad. I'm not saying do that, but like, if you wanted to get in, you would fit in there. Close this, it just, it latches itself, but it's still got the edge lift. Put your hand on the badge and give it a, mm, just watch out, you might bend this. You might bend the aluminum hood. Don't bend aluminum hoods. You can't even see me right now. Do not bend the aluminum hood. Why is this so, oh, that, that's why. Yeah, don't do that. What you do want to do is buy a carbon fiber hood. Insert sponsor here who hasn't sponsored me yet. Send me a carbon fiber hood. God damn it. I want one. <laughs> I, I don't know why, I just feel like since this car's older, that's the Bluetooth right there. Since the car's older, I feel like it doesn't want to uh, start sometimes. It does though, it starts every time. On the dot it is a beautiful thing. We are back at HQ. I gotta hop in another vehicle and I gotta hop somewhere else and head somewhere else. We're not taking the Porsche because I'm taking a, uh, I'm caravanning with the family. So we're parking this bad boy up right here. Mm. And uh, I'm trying to think, what did I miss? Oh, this is cool. I showed you this before. The ignition is on the left. Uh, you may have noticed that earlier. It's not on the right, it's on the left. Something to get used to. And even if you're a right-hand drive vehicle, it's still on the left. Pretty fucking badass. Hazards are right there. You have all this stuff. I don't know what I missed. You have intermittent wipers. It was an option. I have intermittent wipers. Well, like rain sensing wipers. This shit's badass, dude. This car is sick. I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to tell you. I want to keep this thing forever, honestly. Stop! Bad! Bad! Bad Cayman! Yeah, I just... I don't know what to do. I'm going to sign out here. I'm just going to tell you that you guys are badasses. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Have a happy holiday if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving. And, uh... Yeah. I love you. I hope you love me back. If not, it's cool. Just make sure you comment something negative. I love helping that engagement out. What's your quirkiest weird thing about the Porsche? What, what did I miss? Let me know. Tell me below. Lacosta hat. Is it Lacosta or Lacoste? I don't know. But comment below anything I missed. Anything you think you find weird. One thing that is super odd is the font that I, I left out. The font's super, super freaky. I let my car cool down for about one to two minutes after I uh, after I drive too. Even though I did just shut it off to do it. But that was like an extenuating circumstance. I want to get red seat belts. I've been waiting too long to not do it and I haven't done it and I need to do it and I got I got stuff ready to install and ready to show y'all. I can't wait. I can't wait. Tell your friends to subscribe. Tell your mom to subscribe. Tell your daddy to subscribe. At the kitchen, I was gonna say at the table for Thanksgiving, but Thanksgiving will be passed by the time I upload this because I gotta edit it later. Yeah, or maybe the next day because I might not do it tonight. It's okay. Track Slayers. Signing out. Still Supercars of Philadelphia, but it's both. Yeah, you'll see what I mean soon. Squat!